Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to Comsden Farm. Today, we've got a ton of grass to pick up, but I'm not totally sure what I want to do with it all. Maybe we're going to have around 2 million liters, so it should be fun. We're also going to start making preparations for year number four in game. So, let's get it started. We've got a bunch of grass, and I really, really mean it. There's, there's some grass there. There's some over there. There's some off in the distance. This is going to take a little while. We're not going to keep you too long, at least not for this process and this part of it. Uh, all of the grass that's coming from the two, three, four fields on this side is going to be going in our silo. Now, that silo is going to be used for taking care of the cattle and taking care of the sheep throughout the entire year. As always, we're going to take the other silo and we're going to sell whatever grass is in there to the BGA. And that's going to be done in the form of silage. We'll have some silage pre-made and doing its thing. We've done this a couple times. Like I said, the farm really is kind of doing its own thing right now. It's in autopilot, as it were. And I know a lot of times a farming simulator, uh, I'm guilty of this as well, where you're never really happy with where you're at. You're always trying to do more. You're trying to go crazier and bigger and better. You're trying to do a whole lot buying something and sometimes it's okay just to be happy with what you've got and i think with doing 30 episodes especially uh here on calmsden farm where we've been so successful um i think sometimes it might just be good to uh count our losses count our gains and move on <laughs> i think that's what we may end up doing we've been extremely lucky we've done really well i've had to do a little bit of restart but that's okay uh, also, most recently announced is there is an update 1.2 to this uh, game or this map, and you're going to need a new game save. So heads up there. If you guys have been playing around on Comston Farm, there will be a time when you need a new game save. We'll talk about that update uh, probably here in the next clip, but I've got a lot of grass to pick up, so I'm going to at least pick up these next few bits. 269,000 liters after the first field. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and continue along and uh, let's talk about the update a little bit. So this next part of the Let's Plays, not really going to be as much of a Let's Plays, almost kind of like a news video. And I'm going to try to read all of this off of Facebook while I'm just driving. Oh, please don't let me crash into anything. So updates. Uh, we've got a brand new fruit. A fruit of linseed. So there's going to be a brand new fruit on here. Uh, they do say that this is update 1.2. And it's more of an update and an upgrade to the map. So it's going to need a new game save. Due to the map structure being changed when adding new fruits. So heads up there. Um, there's going to be a new custom geo. So no longer are you going to be using the base game geo. Um, and we say geo. It's really just the planting calendar now more than anything so gonna have a new one of those it's by the modern disturbed so that's awesome they got a couple new and improved ground textures from bullet bill so that's kind of neat to see they've added stars and constellations at night yes just like gran turismo 7 uh, he's also got gate animations which have now been moved to the map this is good because currently they are attached to the chicken pens so if you sell the chicken pen the gates are gone. I have no idea what in the world possessed him to make that the way it is in the first place, but I'm super grateful that it is being changed, and I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are like that as well. Uh, they do say that in multiplayer, all players can now open and get close the gates and doors because they're on the map. If you didn't own the chicken pen, you couldn't even open the gates. How that got through, I'll have no idea. Um, just a personal thing there uh <laughs> also they've fixed an issue oh i'm messing some stuff fixed the issue a dedicated server where where doors and gates were out of line so that's been fixed uh the gate collisions have been scaled down and improved a lot of problems with the gates can you see the uh the issue they've also fixed a few collisions collision in the bunker has been removed all productions can now be sold at the same sell point uh which before he had completely ignored all the the uh productions Looks like now he's actually paying a few of those a little bit of attention, which is very nice to see. Oh boy, that wasn't very nice to do though. Uh, what else do we have? We've got some brand new HD weed textures. 
I'm sure you guys were asking for those. So new weed textures have been added to the map. Uh, they say cow parsley and nettle or nettles, nettles. Is that a word? Um, placeables are now bought within the land itself. Cool. Hey, I like that. Chicken pasture can now be sold without the gates. Again, there were turn of stupid gates. Man, it was such an issue. I don't know why he did it in the first place. Hopefully it never happens again. Hopefully every map creator learns from that. And fix the junk in the barns and the horse items not being removed since the game patch 1.3. Fortunately for us, we removed it all before that patch, so we're good to go. So there it is. That's... Oh, that's the entire change log, at least what they've got right now for update 1.2. All right, so opinionated DJ is, uh, he's been put back in his corner. Uh, <laughs> apologize. I'm not trying to put anybody down or anything, but uh, there's some things that are like, how, how, how did that happen? Regardless, we will move on. So we've got, uh, it was about 600, uh, 650,000 liters, something like that for the, um, for everybody. Yep. There you go. So double that was that 12, uh, 1.2 million. So that's a good solid amount for silage and for hay, even though we're feeding the uh, sheep grass. So that's always nice. By the way, I don't think I fed them yesterday. I should probably double check and make sure that they're being fed. By the way, if you haven't, we've already released the supercut of episodes, uh, what was that 11 through 20, I believe. So they did release a little bit later than I was expecting. It's a long video. It took a little while to put together. So it's out now. And speaking about now, I am going to jump into the field. We're going to get all of this up. If I remember correctly, this is about 1.1 million liters ish. Again, if I remember correctly. So we should be getting a decent amount off of all of this. And of course, this goes to the BGA because we like to make money from the BGA. Almost done over here now. We just hit 1 million liters of grass. That's pretty cool. Tell you what, there's a lot of people that make videos for Farming Simulator that don't really play outside making videos. And I used to be one of those, but only because I didn't have the time. And then for about uh, a year and a half plus, uh, I played the game, but didn't make videos about me playing the game. And now, do a little bit of both, a little bit of fun. Um, the way that I play off screen mirrors pretty closely the way that I play on screen. Um, maybe even a little bit more on the realism side when I'm off screen, because generally I will try to do things more realistic, more deliberate, um, and enjoy the act of farming more than I actually enjoy the act of making the video or trying to get things done as quickly as possible. Here, I get things done a little bit faster. <laughs> there, I'm okay spending, you know, maybe two weeks in real life in, you know, one year in game or, or even less or more. Um, there's been a few times where I'll literally spend an entire week playing Farming Simulator on the same day. Speaking of, uh, we've had four episodes on the same day in game, I think, now. Maybe maybe this was the next one. I don't remember. I haven't recorded a video in a week either. <laughs> I've been busy. Uh, nonetheless, I, I'm curious to see two questions. Number one, how do you play? Realistic? Not realistic? Do you enjoy playing Farming Simulator? I'm sure you do. Watching this video right now. And two, do you play like me? I can't be that much alone, right? Do you make videos? Hey, if you do, let me know what your YouTube channel is down below. Post it. I don't think you can post links, but like post like a, you know, a YouTube slash. Oh boy. Uh, and, and hopefully that'll trick it into thinking that's not a link. They're just posting stuff. You know what it is. Now, really the only thing left to do is fertilize the grass fields. And then it's kind of fast forward season until the next harvest. But I don't know. I kind of want to find something else to do. One thing, uh, field 17 is a cotton field and I uh, absolutely plan on leasing a cotton harvester and doing that contract as soon as it comes available because that sounds awesome. To be honest, I haven't done much with cotton in Farming Simulator 22. Um, if really anything, got some deer running around here. Uh, I haven't really done much at all with like some of these extra crops and like grapes and stuff. I haven't done anything with those. I'm really looking forward to this new DLC because I think maybe with the new DLC, 
I will attempt at least. <laughs> birds and deer in the same place. Look at that. Uh, I'll attempt at least to get in there and have a little bit of fun. Uh, do some grapes. Maybe make my own uh, vineyard. I think it'd be fun. I'll enjoy that and have a good time. And I'll be able to use equipment specific for it. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to the Precision Farming update. Yeah. So with Precision Farming coming to Farming Simulator, I believe it's on April the 19th. If I remember correctly, that's going to be 2022. If you guys are watching this in the future, should already be out. So jump in and check it out. Unless, very, very excited for both of those things. For new DLC, Precision Farming. Hey, Farm Sim 22 is just getting good. And we're just getting started. Super exciting. So the next little bit in game is going to be quite interesting because there's not a whole lot to do. As we mentioned, we're on autopilot right now. I'm not going to be buying anything crazy. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. But I do feel like there's a few things that we're missing out on. A few things that we need. We've got three tractors. You don't need any more than that, at least a single player game. We've got two combine harvesters that are large. Yeah, you don't need any more than that. Please turn around. Please turn around the right way. Why are you backing up like, you know, worker? Ah, oh, they're actual idiots. All right, let's just boom away from that guy just for a minute here. So we've got all this stuff. We've got every piece of equipment we could possibly ever want need. The question is, how do we end? How do we give Comsden Farm the proper send-off that it deserves? At least before update 1.2 comes out, which I don't think we'll be doing any videos on other than the initial one. Because, well, it's update 1.2. We're going to be done by then. So I've been going through and fast-forwarding some time, just trying to pass the time away uh, after getting all the fertilizing done. And I noticed that the sheep quit producing... Uh, they're uh, wool, and I was like, well, that's not good. Give me some water, there we go. And I quickly realized, oh, the sheep are out of water. My bad. <laughs> so, we're gonna come over here and give them some water real quick. I'm, I kind of forgot to give them water. I've been just chunking the wool out of the spawn point, and it just quit, quit spawning. It just stopped. Now, this can be interesting there we go we'll go ahead and do that this wool piece i need to put it back there you go not quite the way i wanted to do that uh yes if you grab a pallet you could still fly and farm sim so that's just fun all right how's this thing doing is it good all right we've, we've gotten some stuff we'll just go ahead and end that right there actually i'll show you how i'm doing it uh so i've got the quicker the heavy push you can also just put a tlx phoenix beside it and you're good yeah they, they like to, to walk on top of it as well but you can put one of those beside it and it'll just automatically pick them up every time they put it down makes it really like stupid easy it's really nice but just go through fast forward some time at a decent rate go ahead and shoot that out of there go ahead and speed the time up a little bit so every hour roughly in game gives you more so boop there's an hour come up and on the next hour boop there we go again and you just push it off uh, there's also a much faster way to do it like this which can be a lot of fun but you accidentally end up fast forwarding too much time is it boring I had, I had fun talking about it. So I'm going to wait until we get to about 11 a.m.-ish in game. And uh, and then we will be able to... Right there. Got it. Start doing some stuff. It's August. What are we going to do today? Well, I know what field we're not harvesting. Field 17. Missed out on that big time. Let's go through and take a look here. Yeah, of course, there's... Nothing around there. Ooh, I have a honey thing that I need to go double check on. Uh, let's see. Cultivating. No, nobody cares. So, nah, there's nothing fun in there. We got some fertilizer contracts. Those should pay a good amount of money, but I just don't care. Uh, we've got a bunch of honey over here. A lot of honey that could probably use to be pulled off to the side a little bit. So, I'm just going to grab the bottom and pull. Try to, at least. Come through like that. There you go. Is any more going to pop down? Uh, doesn't look like it. Cool! Yeah, that's my 
favorite. We'll go ahead and, and do like that as well. Also, one neat thing about this uh, contraption here. I want to show you something because this is just... <laughs> Got it. Oh, save the other one. Nice. All right. There's nothing over there, right? Check this out. Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Look, it puts it over here. I can bring it back. It will drop it off there. And it just reappears. <laughs> I, I understand, but I don't understand. <laughs> How, it's something about it. It's just super cool. Maybe one more time. Okay, there's nothing in the thing over there. And it just drops. It's magic. I love it. That's so cool. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is the Agritono John Deere CS770. Absolutely mahoosive. Make a 10,000 liter round cotton bells. That's what I'm talking about. And we have got ourselves a contract. So we're now in September. And you see the orange? You see the orange? I'm not doing field 20 again. But this... Or is 21? I'm not doing... Don't look at that one. Down the, stop, stop looking. I'm going to zoom in so much you can't even see it. There you go. We took them all. Took them all. Field 13. I have a harvested contract there. That is barley. Field number one. We've got cotton. I took it over. And of course, we've got field two, three, and six. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. Oh, I think I've installed this correctly where it'll fast farm. Don't have access to this land, my butt. Go, 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 go. Ooh, and it does go, man. It does go. So hopefully this won't be too fast. It does go 20 miles an hour, but that's still not going to be fast enough to, well, cause trouble, I think is the correct terminology here. What I'm going to do is we're going to run two ways around this field. So two headlands around this field. And then whenever we come back through, then I'll just hire a worker on whatever the straightest edge is and let the worker get their job done. But you can see, I mean, this is kind of the way to go, man. You, you got to go with this 12 meter spread versus six meters, of course. And you could fast farm with it if you're on PC. Console players, I'm... I'm Put it on the back of a combine, or not? A com put it on the back of a trailer. I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably the way you're gonna have to do it. But it's, it's well, not filling up too quickly, which is nice. You don't want to put any bills down where they're gonna cause any trouble either. You want to put them down at the end, where the worker's not gonna end up hitting them. One thing is, I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a way to pick these up, <laughs> so. I'm going to have to use a telehandler with bell forks to put it on the back of a trailer. Because that's the only way I have that I can load these. But you know what? I think that'll be okay. I think we'll be able to have a little bit of fun and enjoy doing that. Yeah. Enjoy doing that. Ooh, we only have 7,500 liters. Only a couple more. We'll have our first bell. It's happening! I got it! Yes! So this is one of the really, really cool things is the bell will pop. And it'll just kind of hang... Oh, missed a little bit back there. Uh, it'll just kind of hang out. And that's about it. <laughs> it just sits there. Which makes it really nice. Really easy. So you, I could bring this bell over here to the edge. And just drop it in the corner of the field. Uh, as such. I'm not... I'm not sure where I want to put this one though. I think I'm going to take this bell over here at least to this far right corner where we started that way whenever you know hiring workers and stuff like that i don't have any issues and at least this bell will be over there whenever we start to pick them up i pray that we've got a trailer good enough to be able to pick up bells we don't we don't have one don't tell don't don't tell anybody check it out i'm gonna go bloop with it watch this look at it it goes bloop and it just puts it right there how cool is that that's awesome. Just like the endings of these videos, they're absolutely terrible. But don't worry, there's more on the way. Just come back tomorrow and we'll have another video for you. Hope you enjoyed today's video, though. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new around here. If you are subscribed, thank you. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Go Him 
Yep, I'm glad you're here. There you go. I think that's a little bit better. Um, something with the outro. I don't. I don't remember the rest of it. Anybody remember the rest? If you remember the outro, uh, post it in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. <laughs> that's the ending of it. Yeah. Was this cringe enough? Hope so. Peace.